Welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there is a free trial of the product. Uh, it's for 14 days uh, and it comes with education. So uh, you get the uh, Bookmap educational course. Uh, you get access to the Bookmap uh, advanced order flow webinars that start in about half hour uh, and then there's other resources uh, as well uh, so uh, if you have any questions you can reach out at support at bookmap.com and uh, let's take a look at the website here and quickly go over it <clears throat> okay up at the top here uh, the uh, website click on explore and there, there's a quick intro video here that's a couple minutes long Okay, and then we'll scroll down here, uh, sign up for the free webinar here, which I, I imagine you guys did. Uh, and um, just uh, about Bookmap, the uh, the platform benefits, um, you know, what it is. And um, uh, then a little bit further down, Bookmap for equities. It's not just for futures. Uh, and soon we're also going to have it for cryptocurrencies. Okay, so uh, a lot of interesting developments on the way. Um, have a new version Bookmap 7 coming out soon, uh, probably uh, uh, mid-January, um, and um, uh, it has uh, many new features that I think you guys will really enjoy. All right, so this is the uh, connection to the uh, NASDAQ total view, uh, all the U.S. equities, and then connectivity to uh, futures markets. Okay, uh, this is how you connect Bookmap. So um, CQG, Rhythmic Gain Capital, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, Dev Experts um, for the uh, U.S. equities. And then these three here, uh, TTX Trader Pro, Ninja Trader, and uh, Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation, uh, we connect via the API of these platforms. Okay, so um, you will... Um, uh, that's how you'll uh, connect your bookmap there if if you want. Uh, else, bookmap is a platform just like these platforms. So you just connect it directly to your data feed. All right. Look further down, pricing information uh, and um, the 14-day uh, free trial here. 49 per month for bookmap basic, 99 uh, for the bookmap advanced. So they're billed quarterly. Uh, you get that 14-day free trial. Uh, the difference between the two are the add-ons, okay? The add-on package here, the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart, uh, as well as this package here of um, uh, order flow um, add-ons that uh, very specific proprietary indicators we developed, uh, like the large lot tracker spots uh, larger players uh, in, the, uh, in the order book. We have an algorithm that's able to um, uh, see that uh, a larger player is holding the majority of the liquidity there. Okay, there's a volume and balance, book and balance, iceberg detector. Again, larger players using iceberg orders uh, to uh, to disguise their position. They don't want to show all of their limit orders in the limit order book. All right, uh, and a correlation tracker as well. Okay, quants, you can reach out to us here. Uh, you know, you're going to have your own specific needs connecting your own data and, and proprietary indicators. All right, bookmap partners, uh, you can see here, uh, and um, and then you can contact us here. Okay. All right, uh, social media, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. If uh, you're coming to our YouTube channel and you're looking for some more information, I would uh, recommend starting with the intro videos. I get a feel for what Bookmap is, and then some of the features and components uh, in Bookmap, uh, just uh, some of the basics, uh, and then the order flow video snippets. This is where the rubber meets the road. Um, these are very concise and short videos that just go through order flow phenomena that we go through in detail in the live um, advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so uh, this, these are some of the um, uh, things that we uh, we can see and uncover uh, with using Bookmap. All right, so let's jump into Bookmap uh, and take a look. I think we'll look at um, maybe crude uh, oil today. Uh, tomorrow we have inventories, so uh, maybe we'll get some movement there. Um, 
Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I don't see a big range here um, in the uh, in the Nasdaq. So uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, crude oil here. All right, nice level of high liquidity up here uh, between 58.10 and 15. Okay, so uh, and um, for those of you who um, are are new here. Uh, well, what what am I pointing to? Why why am I looking at this area up here? Well, there's a lot of liquidity up here. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, we're mostly uh, you know very unaccustomed to looking at liquidity in the in the historical uh, book here. Okay, we record all of the uh, limit order book information. Okay, so this looks really complex. It's it's really straightforward stuff. Um, it's uh, the the visual uh, display here is showing three items: historical best bid and offer, okay, the volume on the historical best bid and offer with these volume dots, and then we're showing you the um, the order book activity that's been recorded and plotted onto the chart. Okay, that's it. All right. So uh, I know this looks complex. It looks very advanced. It's actually not. It's giving you a very um, objective uh, and clear view of market activity. All right, and I'm going to demo that uh, as we do every day here uh, by using something that actually is more complex than what we're showing here in Bookmap, uh, and that's a candlestick chart. Uh, although it's going to look a lot simpler here, it's actually more complex in nature, okay, because there's a concept here uh, that uh, uh, it's a bar, and, and within a time frame, uh, all of this activity is um, aggregated within this one bar. Okay, and we start to read the bar to understand what's going on with price and price action. And we know that, uh, you know, kind of a shooting star or, uh, you know, this, this kind of candle with a long wick on the top is showing selling pressure, or maybe it's a lack of, uh, uh, of buying. Okay, but uh, we don't know that, uh, and this is the problem that that we have with candlestick charts. Uh, you're just kind of reading uh, the the tea leaves here and putting it together. Right? We don't have transparency. Uh, we don't know what happened within this five minute time frame. We have, we have no clue of where the volume traded here. Uh, did it trade up here? Did it trade down here? Did it trade somewhere in the middle? Um, you know, was there more aggressive buying? Or was there aggressive selling, and and um, how much? Uh, so uh, the where, when, and how, uh, basically, uh, and that's the problem here with this candlestick chart. Okay, and to make financial decisions or much more informed financial decisions, we just need to know that data. All right, and that's where Bookmap can help. Now, the the first problem with this candlestick chart. Uh, is that the the uh, time is is aggregated within a five minute bar, okay? So you don't have any clue of what you know. Where did maybe maybe there's all sorts of price activity between this bar and this bar here, uh, down here, and then all of a sudden it broke up really quickly at the last minute of this candle, okay? Or I should say it, it, in this area here, and then it broke up really quickly, right? We don't know that, right? Uh, we, we don't see any any of that um, uh, here. We just know that uh, there was a lot of buying, or looks like there was a lot of buying here. Uh, or all we know is that there was a sharp move to the upside, basically. All right. Um, but uh, we're going to be able to show show that just by a very simple um, display here of the um, uh, historical best bid and offer. Okay. So the historical best bid and offer already gives us a lot of insight uh, to a lot of structure that um, is uh, within that candle that we just don't see, okay? So for example, I mean, I can already see it here. Uh, let's uh, click on the move tool, hover over this area, and then you might use my center mouse wheel and I'll zoom in, okay? And um, so already uh, there's all sorts of things in here that we're completely missing in this candlestick chart. We have no clue. Uh, there is a microstructural range, okay? It's broken here, over here comes back down and then we'll get into this candle here uh, and then uh, and then we have another microstructure uh, structural range here okay it's broken here uh, at, at the uh, start of the start of this candle 
okay? And look at these little pullbacks right to where we broke from here. Okay, we're probably going to see some exhaustion, at least on this area here. We're not going to see a lot of aggressive selling, all right? We're probably going to see a lot of buying either initiate here or especially up in here, okay? We're going to see big green dots probably around this area here, all right? And it's pulling price up. Uh, and I'm, I'm speculating right now. I don't know, right? So let's figure it out. Uh, we're just looking at microstructure and it's in how much detail... Uh, we can understand just from that, uh, but uh, let's find out uh, with the volume. All right. So um, yeah, here we go. All right. So uh, in fact, uh, uh, the initiated buying was it started here. Okay. And look at the selling down here. Okay. We, we're looking for exhaustion at, at least on the on this little retest here. It's also um, a lack of or not much uh, selling here compared to the buying. Okay. So buyers are coming in here. All right, it's, it's pulling uh, the market higher. Okay, these are aggressive market buys. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Let's zoom in here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in, and I'm just going to show you historical best bid and offer here. All right, we're going to get into some of the details of really what we're showing. All right, well, first thing here is the, the green line here is your historical best offer. Okay, that's it. Historical best bid is the red line. Now, these dots... Are transactions that take place on the historical best bid and offer okay a green dot is a market buy someone hit the market buy button they took liquidity and we'll just zoom over here or hover over here there are 61 contracts here all right and um, uh, we can see that here in the uh, COB column okay if I hover over the dot uh, it also tells me uh, 61 column, or uh, we get the date, the time, and then on the ask, there's 61 contracts, okay, at this price level. And then this trade uh, here, this trade event was for a volume of four, right? We know that. That's fact, okay? So you, if you want the numeric values, you can get them, right? Uh, but um, uh, we're just showing it graphically here. Now, this, this, this four... Uh, contracts that traded it actually may be let's was continue to zoom in here and really find out yeah okay so we're down at uh, microsecond level here and we can see that uh, it's still for a volume of four so it looks to me like this was one trade event okay and we can still get that data we can know exactly uh, by adding a new column here and then we're going to turn that into a trades counter here's our data one trade event for a volume of four Okay, that's what happened right here. Okay, so we have all of that data and we're down at, we can go down further and now we're at uh, nanosecond level. So we're looking at billions of seconds here. Okay, we're showing every single market event. Uh, and uh, although we don't trade at those levels, um, you know, we're, we're still displaying it. Okay, now as we zoom out, okay, and I'm zooming out and I'm compressing that timeline, and we're going to see all these other trade events start to show up here. Okay, here are our market sells on the uh, on the best offer. Okay, so I'm going to hit the market sell button. Okay, so price was up here, and then it went down here uh, for for and sold down for a bit, and then it went back up here. All right, so that's what happened uh, in this in this activity here, uh, and um, uh, that's just the basics here. Now we don't trade off of these really low time frames. Okay, so when we zoom out, though, note how I'm compressing all those, all that trade activity into larger dots. So if I hover over a dot, it gives me the date, the time, what was on the bid here, uh, and the volume. All right, so 78 contracts traded here. Now looking at this pie display, there's so many uh, events that took place here uh, that we give you the overall shape of it with the pie display. So we can see about two thirds of that is mostly, it's mostly buying. Okay, aggressive buying and uh, and some aggressive selling. All right, and here's what happened. Uh, they lifted the offer. Okay, there was more buying than there was selling. Okay, so uh, that's what we're showing you here in Bookmap. Now, as I zoom out, we're just aggregating visually and graphically that trade data into larger dots. Okay, and that's uh, that's how we display the volume here. So we understand now really what took place here. Okay, and we understand that we broke out of this microstructural level right here. 
we also we also broke out of it here as you can see right okay we came back down and tested the bottom of the range then we came back up and we broke out of the range again of this range here retests and then the aggressive buyer stepped in again here okay and we're making higher highs right that's the kind of detail and understanding of true market events that took place here that book map is showing you all right so um and that's the kind of insight that leads to much more informed trading decisions okay and you know if we just look at this candlestick chart you really wouldn't know all right so uh anyway uh that's just the volume and let's turn off the candles okay and um, the volume is helpful this is true traditionally order flow is looking at the tape okay the volume that traded it's kind of like a you know what you're looking at here is kind of like a horizontal um, uh, time and sales going by all right uh, but um, so now we know where the where the traders are executing their trades uh, so where exactly when and how much and what type of trader all right so all that data is here for us uh, now we want to uh, there's still another part here that's really important to understand in the marketplace and that is where they're bidding and offering all right now traditionally the way we access and consume that data uh, is through the dome right we, we can see in the depth of market here right where traders are lining up to to offer above price here uh, and on the bid down in these areas here Okay, so uh, why is this important? Well, it, it's important to know the auction, what's going on in the auction. Where, where is there buying pressure and selling pressure? Uh, how long are they here for? Do they mean business? Uh, how much depth is there behind each of these? I mean, you can see there's some pressure here at 58, like 100, 150, 117, 123 contracts, okay? It's more, more buying pressure than there is selling pressure at the moment. Sellers are up here at 58.10. Right, the majority of them. Okay, they're starting to show a little action here at 05. Now, these numbers change all day long, and when they change, we'd have to remember those areas and um, uh, what what occurred there because when they change, that that information is lost, and that's where Bookmap solves that issue because we record it. Okay, we turn that information into a heat map here in this window. Okay, this is current best bid and offer. And uh, here, look at the high liquidity up here, right? So in the heat map, uh, the um, uh, we can see that there is um, a high liquidity up here in these areas, uh, and um, these are where traders want to sell. Okay, the majority of the traders here in the book, right? And uh, on the bid, they're down here at 91. All right, so. Uh, uh, where this gets interesting now you'll see this the heat map will change okay it changes to reflect what what occurs here in the dome right now where this really gets pretty interesting is we take that information and it's recorded and transposed onto the chart here historically so now we can understand like these striations here is is the adding and pulling of liquidity okay at these levels and we can start to understand the context of the auction a bigger picture view of the historical auction that gives us a lot of insight to the intent of these traders at these areas okay so now we can start to read that auction uh, and um, uh, this is uh, uh, a really uh, uh, important piece that um, uh, we're not accustomed to uh, to accessing because we can see here uh, when I when we first started this webinar immediately noted uh, up here very high liquidity up in this level okay well look look how that's affected price okay so the the buyers trade started to trade into this area here okay at 5810 as we can see but they didn't take them on uh you know there's a lot of liquidity and the buyers just uh, shied away sellers took control here okay they broke out of a little structure here we have a nice little retest to that structural area and then they continue to hit the bid. All right, so uh, uh, that this is how uh, we can start to gauge on a much bigger level. We're, we're able to utilize this this information from the dome, okay? Not just the current market, but the historical market. 
Okay, big distinction there between the two. Uh, and start to gauge the intent of traders and uh, where there might be kind of, uh, well, well, I mean, just where they're really interested in selling and where they're really interested in buying. And we're also able to make a distinction by their activity if they have intent to trade or not. Okay, so, I mean, just by understanding this, looking at this here, you can see that we've already had like a 30 cent move. Okay, down to uh, where, where, where do we go? 91. Okay, why do we go to 91? Because that's where the buyers were. Okay, now the buyers are down here, the majority of them, down at 57.80. Uh, yeah, uh, Edson, uh, yeah, we can trade from the chart here. Uh, there's a book map, uh, one click trading that comes with the book map advanced. Okay. Uh, so you can trade right from the chart. Uh, this is a really, uh, uh, beneficial, um, uh, uh, feature here. Uh, and why is that? Because let's say, you know, we want to get, we want to get involved in this market. Well, here at 58, the figure there's pretty high liquidity, right? 231 contracts. Well, let's, I'll just place my sell order up here. Okay. I'm one tick away from it. Okay. Because, uh, I, you know, I want to get filled before these guys. All right. Now you can, um, you know, move these orders around as well, as you can see, um, you can add to them, uh, as well. So we can turn it into, you know, more or, or, you know, less contracts, move them around. Um, and, uh, cancel them, et cetera. There's all, all sorts of things we can do here, all right? Uh, you can add uh, OCO orders, bracketed orders, trailing stops, uh, et cetera, okay? Uh, also, too, I mean, uh, well, as well, I should say, um, let's say that, uh, you know, you got involved in the market on the short side up here. Well, where would you place your stop? Well, you know, you'd probably be pretty, pretty, uh, you know, smart to uh, place behind this high liquidity here. Okay, anyway, uh, you can see how this trade is working out nicely. Uh, and um, uh, it's going to get interesting down at this little swing here uh, and uh, see if uh, uh, maybe uh, a lot of these sellers, uh, maybe we'll go through it a little bit, hit some stops down in these areas here, uh, and then we'll see buyers start to come in. Uh, and maybe trade back up into the range here. So kind of starting to anticipate a pullback, to be honest, right now, maybe to around this 95 level, all right? Because you can see the initiated selling here yet again, okay? And this is a pretty pretty nice move straight down uh, from, uh, what, 88, from like 04 to 88. Okay. All right. Now there's so many other features here. The, the one click trading is uh, quite a nice one, uh, Edson. Um, I think uh, uh, if you're interested in um, uh, trading from the chart, there's, there's also some uh, API. We have an API here. Uh, there's some automated strategies that are, uh, are here. And um, uh, for example, uh, the chase and escape, uh, we can use this. Um, and uh, I just want to demo this here, and I'm going to make make the uh, settings a little a little uh, crazy just to demo this, okay? Um, but so I have a, a a buy here and a sell here, okay? And basically, um, I have chase and escape on, which and the the two strategies, the way they work, um, is. Um, uh, if if the market starts to move away from my buy, it will this this buy order will chase, okay, uh, by um, uh, a, a couple of ticks, okay. Now the the escape uh, strategy is if if the market comes down to my order here, uh, but uh, I don't have high liquidity behind me, okay, then escape away, okay. Don't um, uh, I, I don't want to uh, to get filled here. Okay, so you can see it just escaped right here. Okay, by a tick. All right, and it, there it goes again. Okay, so you can see how this is working. So why I, I don't want to be a, I don't want to be on the buy side unless there's other buyers here with high liquidity. 
Okay, so this this worked really nicely. You can see uh, how it came down into this area here. Okay, now now look at this. Uh, look at the the book just got. Um, uh, we, what we saw there was just a spoof. All right, so the book just got built out, uh, and um, uh, they uh, showed very high liquidity on four levels here, uh, and then they pulled it all all at the same time. So some some player there, um, you know, was uh, uh, maybe they're trying to get price to move back up into this 95 level, looking for that pullback that we were talking about earlier. Okay, all right. So you can see the chase and escape strategies working here on both uh, both sides of the market. Now, uh, all you have to do if you want to get filled uh, is um, uh, make the um, uh, you know play around with some of the settings here. Right? It's um, it's pretty straightforward stuff, uh, but um, you know uh, look for a less percentage behind me, um, and then I'll you know this won't escape it will stay there in the market and then uh uh but uh, I, I want it to escape for now okay so just to, for, just for the demo purpose um and uh, this these work in real time too so if i um you know click to one here you'll see that it, it immediately moves like uh it'll it'll chase by one tick all right Anyway, that's part of the book map um, it, with you get the you get with the one click trading as well. Okay, so just optimizing your entries and your exits in trade management. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's cancel all, um, and uh, I'll take these strategies off, and we'll close up the uh, one click trading here. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, we saw a nice move to the downside, but uh, yeah, looking at uh, you know this area here uh, for a little bit of covering um, on the on the uh, sell side, and then uh, maybe buyers will start to step in at least back up to this 95 level, and and here they are, you know, in the book, as you can see. Anyway, let's uh, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Uh, if you want to uh, access the um, uh, some of the uh, uh, Advanced order flow webinars in the Bookmap educational course. Uh, you'll have to give the Bookmap a try uh, for the 14 days uh, it comes with it. So uh, you get you get that education uh, along with uh, a trial of the product, and that's a really important part because there's a lot you know to to digest and understand here. Um, and um, uh, but the insights here are incredible, right? To really really understand uh, how the how the markets move uh, and um, uh, you know, based on the uh, volume and based on the book. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for coming and, uh, we will catch up with you, uh, tomorrow. All right. Take care. Yep. Bye-bye.